welcome to Sunday at Alton Park. It is bloody hot today. Um, I don't really know how hot it is, like 20 odd degrees. Probably knocking on 30, so um, it's gonna be hot in car, probably 50, 60 degrees in car today. 12 laps, starting P2, so there's no reason we can't win this one. Um, ideally a good start, and then uh, see how things develop from there. So we'll tell you how we got on later on. What we've got here today is that we're doing a, a marshals training session. We do this every Sunday on touring cars. We invite some of the younger marshals up and we come up and we talk about first on scene at an incident. So it's a very basic training from our point of view, but a very important training because this is all about what happens in the immediacy of an incident. So we've got three units here today. We've got the Toka unit, we've got our own rescue unit and we've got a medical car here as well so we're going through three sections of, of training uh, and hopefully you'll get to try some of it yourself we'll get you trying some of the equipment and see how <laughs> how how it works hopefully you never see this in anger this is just to your benefit today to see how we do it um, yeah. We, we certainly don't want you having a look at the inside of our rescue unit the track side no. thank you very much i mean in previous experiences that i've had with doing this sort of thing it gives us a great deal of confidence to know that we'll be all right when we're out on track so yeah i hadn't realized that this happens every touring car meeting yep. um which i guess is even better for us um but yeah it's nice to come down and see what's happening and, and understand some of the guys yeah yeah, yeah. And, and understanding you know we pick up some points and that you're probably guess, safer here than you are on the on, yeah. on the public road because we we've got immediate access to yeah like you say you, you've got you've got an ambulance on scene in within 90 seconds within 90 seconds yeah. and yeah you wouldn't have that no not at all on, on the, the road. back road once you leave the gates so nope you know no. it from that side it's pretty well looked after. Absolutely, absolutely. And, and the important thing is those first few seconds after an incident, which is what these guys are being trained about today. Yeah. Obviously, we're, we're concerned about a driver's well-being. That is probably the, the, the key thing to it. And fire, thankfully, is not as often as it used to be. Um, but that is our first line of attack. Equally, we're looking at, at the driver. So two people tend to go out to an incident immediately, one with a fire extinguisher, and one to assess the driver. If we're unhappy with how the driver's looking, then we will immediately indicate that we need a rescue unit. Yeah. That will then come straight out to us. Meanwhile, we're covering for fire, just in case there's any hot vapors or, or anything around yeah. the, the engine. Um, so, yeah, it's those first few minutes that are, are key to everybody. And I can kind of see that you've got some very experienced and very clever and knowledgeable people who Yes. are there very quickly so yes they're talking about stuff like well i'm never going to understand but uh it's, it's know, all beyond me as well game. but they say so, we, we, we don't need to from from negative. my point of view all i know is that i've got an immediate backup for any incident that i attend and that's key to it yeah no perfect thanks for inviting okay. me along thanks max great to see no you no problem cheers cheers right here we are at open park uh just over an hour to go before our race uh max is on in second position so hopefully he can convert that into a win. We need to try and stop James Dolin's run and we'll be trying our very best. After scrutinizing yesterday, we had to take the gearbox out for them to check the clutch and also the brake master cylinder. That was uh, quite an involved job. Um, took us a while to do it. Fortunately, we could do it in the awning, so it wasn't too bad, but we did have a scrutineer. Hugh, <laughs> bless him, was, uh, he sat and watched us for two and a half hours and but we did feed him, but that's the way it is. We have to deal with that. So today, the weather's scorching. It's cracking the flags out there. We've just got to watch our, uh, be careful with what tyre pressures we're going to run. Obviously, that they need to change because of the track temperature, after the issue, especially after the issues with uh, Thruxton. But anyway, today's another day. Let's, uh, let's fight for that win. Okay, so I am here with Evan, one of Max's. Fans. What, what yeah. do you like about 
Cleo's. I really, I really like how it's so close and there's lots of spins and every, it's all so close and you go side by side into lots of the corners. Have you been to lots of these races or? We, well, we always watch touring cars on TV, but we try to get as many, try to get to as many of them as we can. Weather's nice. Have you um, ticked your like Max? Best driver? Yeah, he's the, he's the best. He's my favourite Clio driver. Yeah. Well, that's good. And are you coming to any other races? Yeah, we're hoping to come to Croft too. And we'll be watching all Max's races on TV. Here's Alan from Primax. He's got his family here as well. I think they're trying to hide off camera yes, at the moment. They are. They are trying to hide. See, off look, camera. hiding. You're not going to escape. So I really want to know from a fan's point of view, not sponsors, but what, what do you like about the race weekend? Well, I, I've loved racing for a long time. You know, I started off watching, going around the rallies across U, the UK and Europe. Um, so when Gary, who works for me, came and said, do you want to come to one of the race weekends? I said, yeah, that'd be great. So it started really from there, picking up from when I used to watch rallying in the olden days, because I'm getting on a bit now. But... What, what is it that you look for when you decided you were going to sponsor him? Well, I think there's, there's two things we look for in a sponsor. Is a are you going to get your name on the TV, of course, and are you you know is, is your brand going to be associated with a positive sort of uh, message with my, Max and his family and everybody surrounding the team? It's a very positive message. They're very nice people. We get our name on the TV. Max is quite one of the quite exciting drivers within the series, and uh, you know our business can afford it. So why not support a local driver? We're in the northeast of England, which is where Max lives. So yeah, it was, it was a good opportunity for us. We've done it for two years now and we'll look to do something next year depending on what series he looks to do. So we'll continue to support him. Well, you predicted the last one. Yeah, I did actually, didn't I? I did say Dawlin would drive away. Um, let's go for Max in this one. Um, second, McCarthy, because I've heard he was up quite late doing his engine. <laughs> Some, someone told me about that. Um, and I went for Epps last time. Still think Epps has got a podium in him. So I'll go Max Dawlin Epps. Not sure back. <laughs> Scott Waller, he's a wily fox. <laughs> I'm going to get a tattoo. <laughs> Max Coates, wily fox. <laughs> that might be his Tinder profile. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Max. Go on, you wily fox. Come on, Max. You say hi! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> We've heard from all three drivers, that's the podium presentation for round eight of the 2018 Renault UK Clio Cup. Have you enjoyed the weekend? Well, the weekend's been fantastic. Uh, some good racing as usual from all the series, uh, especially the Clio's. We've had some good, two good races yesterday, Max uh, along with Dorlin and Rivette again. Very good uh, battle between those and again today the same thing. In the atmosphere again, uh, there's got to be close to 40,000 plus again here. Uh, which makes for a brilliant atmosphere. Um, so, yes, uh, and again, close access to the teams uh, and everything like that is really good part of the touring car package uh, overall. So, yeah, but we're, we're packing up. This is Andy Wilmot, who also racing Cleo Cup. He's stolen my hat and he's having an ice cream. And I'm a big fan. And she's a big fan. So, it's kind of appropriate to end with a big fan and 
Wilmot and uh, Wilmot. So uh, yeah, we won the second race. Get in. This is the hat. Uh, so yeah, it's been a, a good weekend. Good end to the weekend uh, and the right way to go into Croft. So unfortunately, Damien's not at Croft. So I'm gonna do something a bit different, hopefully. Uh, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the, the fans video. Uh, and those that have been in it have enjoyed being a part of it and we'll see you for the next proper episode of this at Snetterton after the summer break. Bye.